What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's Justin, the lawn lover. Today we're going to talk about soil testing, how important it is to your lawn plan, um, and we're going to go over how to do it, how to probe the soil, how to put it in and mail it away, and then we'll go over results at the end of the video. So stay tuned. care or if you've been doing this a long time soil testing is an important tool that you can use to not only save yourself time but save yourself money and achieve the results you want um, for years before I did soil testing or was introduced to it before I got serious about lawn care I would just buy go to the you know Lowe's Home Depot buy some fertilizer throw it down every so often I use the Scott's fertilizer uh, like weed and feed. I never really got seriously into it and I could never figure out why my lawn wasn't looking better. Uh, then I got into the YouTube community, um, lawn care, did a lot of research online and basically it all comes back to soil testing. So if you start with soil testing, this is going to tell you what your lawn needs. Um, so it's kind of like I would say going to the doctor. You're going to do blood work, you're going to do stuff like that at your annual checkup identify problems and how to fix it. So soil test, same, similar fashion. You're gonna identify deficiencies in your soil and then find products that are gonna help correct those deficiencies and basically efficiently use your money so you're not throwing money away down the drain. So let's go over some soil tests, um, basics, how to, and we'll start from there. And then, like I said, we'll get to the results at the end. So there's a couple different soil tests on the market you can use. Um, I just use the Yard Mastery one because it's fairly inexpensive. It ranges about $30 a test. It's also powered by My Soil, which is another company um, you can use online. I don't, I'm not sure the cost. I've seen other people use it. it. Basically, you'll achieve similar results. This one, I will say, is a little more DIY from what I've seen um, in relation to results. And the thing I like about the Yard Mastery app is once you get your soil test, it will evaluate your deficiencies and where you're over and kind of recommend some products and give some recommendations on what to use next um, in order to start your lawn plan. So like I said, it comes in this box, uh, pretty easy. I bought this last year actually. I got two tests in the box. I will say they have an option too that's fairly inexpensive. Um, if you've never done a soil test before, you're gonna need a soil probe. Uh, I don't have it right here, I'll have to get it. It's in the other part of the garage, but um, to probe the soil. Uh, but basically, you're gonna get a kit. It's gonna have a registration number. And you wanna download the app, it's pretty user-friendly here. Um, and you'll input the registration number into the app. And it'll give you some instructions on what to do. So basically, we're gonna collect a good soil sample. We're gonna go through uh, various sections of the yard. This recommends five to separate five to seven separate locations. I typically do more than that just to get a good mix of around, around the yard. I typically will do this in the spring. Sometimes I do it in the fall. I did not do one last fall, so I'm curious to see what I did last summer, um, how that will impact or basically what the results were. Um, the yard looked great last year had some fungus issues, which is a whole nother video, but I got that taken care of. But yeah, I'll be interested to see. So basically we'll take the sample, um, put it into a Ziploc bag is how I do it. They give you a pre, an envelope to mail it in. And basically here's the sample bottle, which is sealed. And you'll get out of your Ziploc bag, a cup full of soil. You'll drop it in there. You'll put that in here, mail it away, and usually have your results in uh, three to five days. I think last time I did it, it was seven. It, I think it just depends. It goes to Washington State, Walla Walla, Washington. So from Indiana, takes a little bit, but we'll, we'll go out. Let's take some samples, and then we'll check out the results. So we'll start out here in the front yard. Here's the soil core to get the sample. Um, this is just a cheap one. These are very expensive if you get a bigger one. I only do this once or twice a year, so I don't spend a lot of money. This does what I need it to do. Um, but basically, you're just going to probe down into the soil. And as long as your ground's not frozen, you're good to do the soil test here. 
I'm going to pull out a little core. Now, I want to get a little deeper than that, um, but you can see, we'll do that one again. Um, but that'll give you a good chunk of soil. We'll go ahead and throw that in the bag, and we'll start collecting more. So here you can see my next uh, core grab. Get a good collection of soil here. Uh, I would call that a good sample. Um, and then we're just going to pluck it out with a screwdriver, put it in the bag, and we'll go around and collect this, uh, I don't know, 10 to 12 spots is usually what I do. I won't bore you with the details, but we'll come back and I'll show you what you do after you take the collection. So basically what you want to do once you collect all your samples, just kind of work it up in the bag. And you kind of want to break it down into a finer uh, powder, because what we're going to do is we're going to sift this into something else and try to get the debris out because you want to get as clean a sample as possible that you can get. So the next step, I just bought this at the dollar store, a little cheap sifter. But you just want to reach in, get you some soil. And then I just use the box, creates an easier step. And as you can see, kind of want to work this out and work out the clumps and get a good soil sample. And then any pieces of debris that you see, like this kind of stuff, you just want to set aside. We'll get rid of that later. Little pieces of grass um, and such. Because what you're looking for is a consistency like that to send in for your soil test. So after you get done sifting, you get a good little sample size, if you can see that. Um, like I said, there's you want to go back through and fine tooth if you see anything, little pieces of grass or anything like that. Another thing I mentioned, you want to make sure your soil is mostly dry. Um, I did this in the morning, little dewy, but the soil was not completely soaked. Um, if you try to do this when it's wet or if you collect when it's wet, you won't get a very good sample first off and it won't sift well so if you do collect when it's wet if you get a decent sample let it dry out in a bag um, and it also recommends that you mail this the same day you take it or within 24 hours that's why i typically try to do it when the post office is open so i can throw it in the bag and mail it um, so it gets there faster so after you get your sample you take the little cup they include with the test and you want to get a very good little you want to get it heaping. I try to get it all the way into the cup. And if not, you want to just use your fingers, level it off. Make sure you get a good, good sample for them to test. Never had one of these come back saying that I didn't have enough tests. I've heard other people said that their sample wasn't good enough. But I try to get as much in there as I can, pack it down like so. And then you're gonna take the sample cup they gave you. Do not take the water out of this or whatever the solution is. There's a little testing ball in there too. Leave it all in there and just dump your soil in. So you wanna break the seal and if you spill the water, then I think you're pretty much SOL, but dump your soil in there like so. Add the cap back on. Oh. And that's all there is to it. You take your soil test. You put it in the prepaid bag that they send. And you mail it away. You might want to put the return address. I would recommend taking a picture of the tracking number so you know where it's at if it gets lost. Um, but yeah, so like I said, results in a week or less. And we'll go over them here in a minute. Alright, so I mailed off my sample last week, um, just got notified of the results this morning. So from the day I mailed it last Friday, we're a little under a week um, with the weekend included. <clears throat> Not bad to get the soil test results back. Um, so basically, 
once you registered your kit, you're going to come into your Yard Mastery app and you're going to go down to Soil Test. And you can see, this is the test, the first one I ever did last year. So it'll kind of give you a graph breakdown of your results and some recommendations. And then if you go down into the raw data, it'll show you um, your, your levels for each. So it'll go through nitrogen um, and the big ones. So nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So you can see I was lacking in, in a lot of these last year. Had a high calcium and magnesium. I didn't do anything about those last year. Um, I plan to do something this spring, so stay tuned for that. Um, but then your micronutrients, iron, zinc, copper, boron, um, etc., and pH. I did put down a pH correction last year. Um, and let's see what happened here over the last season, if anything improved. So I'm still low on, um, well, I'll start off by saying I'm still low on some of these, um, but everything that I've see here has improved. I kind of went la light last year on some of these products because I wasn't sure um, exactly how much I needed. I didn't want to overdo it. So this kind of gives me a gauge, the comparison from this year to last year, uh, gives me a better gauge of what I, how much more I need to apply. So um, like I said up here, it'll, it'll give you recommendations based on whether you put a granular or a liquid or a mixed um, plan in. So you can either go all granular, you can do all liquid, or you can do a mix. I personally do the mix. I do like granule fertilizers. However, I do like the liquid biostimulants, liquid prodiamine, which I'm going to try this year, um, et cetera. So I bought some products. We'll go over some of those. I won't go through all of them here uh, just for the sake of time, but we'll do separate videos here this spring and, and throughout the season on how to correct certain things that you see in the soil test. And then we'll do a soil test probably midsummer and then in fall, and we'll see, we'll compare all these and see how... Um, how they go together. Uh, the first thing I ordered that I'm going to target this spring is the pH lowering product. So we'll go over that. It's a granular product from Jonathan Green that I used last year and it looks like it dropped me a good amount. So looking forward to getting these products, uh, making videos to share with you um, and we can learn from each other. But that's a soil test in general and it's very helpful in knowing what you want to target, what kind of products you need to buy and how to fix your lawn.